first of all, I've got to say uh, a few words of thanks to a lot of people. Um, Oliver Locke, our athletic director here, and really all the staff associated with the athletic department. Um, we wouldn't be able to do it without them. And then a huge thanks to all our sort of immediate staff with the rifle team. Um, Justin Pence, my GA, Raymond Pryor, our sports performance consultant, and also we have uh, Jerry, uh, Chris, Jerry in strength and conditioning, Chris in athletic, athletic training, and also uh, Jessica in our academic study center. So those guys really are the, the core of our group and really help us to, to be able to do everything. Um, I've also got to thank the team for being an awesome team this year. They've put in so much hard work. Um, and they really deserve this. Um, the hard work's been in the classroom as well as the range. And also, you know, a huge thanks to all their parents as well. Um, their parents give us a huge amount of support and we really appreciate that. And lastly, you know, a huge thank you to all our fans and supporters. And we have some back here, you know, without all the support, uh, both financially and um, just general support, um, you know, we wouldn't be here either. So uh, it's been uh, an amazing year. Uh, we've really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, just a uh, you know, great thank you to all those people. Um, another thing that I want to do while I'm up here before I start answering questions, um, we had our All-American Banquet on uh, Saturday night uh, in Columbus, and we had a, a number of All-American awards, which was uh, really special and great to see. Uh, we did, however, have one team member that, that couldn't make the trip this year, and uh, that was Daniel over here. So I'd like Daniel to come up, and I'd like to present him with his uh, all-American awards uh, for second team small bore. So his, it's Daniel's first All-American award. Well done, sir. Thank you. Certificate. So he receives a certificate, a badge, and also a silver bullet pin <laughs> for a small ball All-American. So good job. Um, I mean, really, I think I just opened it up for questions. I mean, in summary, we've had a fantastic year. Um, I think the team's really been amazing. Um, to set a national record of 47.20 was incredible. I think we set a national record in air rifle and a, and a tied national record in small bore. Petra's set some individual school records. So, you know, it's really been a record-setting year, and I think to finish it off this way, uh, winning the championship was... Uh, really the only way we could finish it off, but uh, we're delighted to have done so, and um, hopefully we can answer some questions for, for today. John, each, each national championship is different, different team members, different dynamic involved. When, when you think back on, on this particular team, what, what is going to stand out most? Uh, well, that's a good question. I think um, maybe what will stand out most is just um, you know the, the great balance that we've had in the team like we've had a fantastic atmosphere um, we've really like I said balance is the best word we've had a bit of everything we've had you know the teams uh, got along well together we've had a great atmosphere um, but they we've had a hard-working team a motivated team and, and also an incredibly talented team so you know I think I'll remember this as definitely one of the best teams we've had I mean to set national records you obviously have to do so um, and just really um, everything kind of fell together for us to, um, you know, to be able to win the championship at the end. So I, I think I'll, I'll remember it for just uh, having maybe a, a little bit of everything. It seems like obviously the, the skills are there, the, the mental aspect of rifle that is often overlooked by people, but it, it seems like this team is really bought in with that as far as just concentrating on themselves. Not Absolutely. Sort of Kentucky or TCU. Sure. Yeah, and that's and it's really hard to do that. You know, I think the, the team members would attest to that. It's hard to to keep the focus on just yourselves and what you're doing. And they're, you know, it, rifles are sort of numerical sport. So it's you know, and, and these guys are probably, you know, they're like that as well. So it's hard to not look at numbers and compare yourself and look at other teams. And you know, there's so many other distractions. So yeah, I think this team has has done the best job of uh, of any team that we've had of really really just trying to focus on ourselves, especially in the last couple months, really just um, be, keep that self-focus and it's something that we've worked really hard to do uh, and try and carry that through the whole year. Did you like where they were mentally after the first day? I think you were in third place to one shot at least. Yeah, I, I don't know if we liked where we were score-wise, but yeah, we were, you know, we, we were in a 
good frame of mind. I mean, we were definitely disappointed, I think, but none of them, uh, you know, they all got over it pretty quickly and got refocused. And I think we're all motivated and, and ready to go out and do well the next day. So, yeah, I think we were, you know, we had a good atmosphere that evening and we're ready to, to reset and, and go out and do our best the next day. Oh, I mean, you know, you you got to wait till it gets down pretty near to the end. I mean, I think as we were maybe finishing up, I mean, me personally, they may all have different ideas. I mean, probably when Petra was getting into her last 20, 30 shots, I felt pretty good. But I mean, up until then, you know, you never you don't know what other, the other teams are going to do. I mean, the, the other teams, at least uh, three other teams had two shooters going into the last relay that were all capable of shooting really high scores. Um, and they just didn't manage to do so. So, um, you know, and, and really until that last shot is down the line and everything's safe, you, you know, you just you just never know. So um, I think some of these guys maybe got a little taste of what myself and the staff and the fans go through having to, to watch on the last relay. And, um, you know, we definitely uh, were, were pretty nervous, but it was, uh, you know, that that's what makes our sport exciting, you know, for people to, you know, question whether rifle can be a spectator sport or be exciting. Um, I can certainly tell you that it was it was pretty exciting watching it all weekend. So, um, yeah, it went down you know pretty close to the end. Um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been great. You know, it's uh, hopefully a growing experience and a learning experience for all of them. Um, I think they're demeanor and attitude this year has been really fantastic and, and we've really carried that through to the matches. I think all of the the ones that were here last year, you know, we've got a big sophomore class. I think they really gained some experience and, you know, they've all grown as individuals and improved as shooters as well. So it's been really it's been really good to, to watch all of them this year. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's an incredible performance. I mean, we were all, you know, to win two championships is, is awesome. Um, like you said, it's something that's not been done for 12 years. And, and not only that, the last guy to do it is, is Matt Emmons. And, you know, certainly these guys and all of us in the shooting community know what an incredible shooter he was. So, um, you know, it's just, you know, it can be a few points either way. And it's, uh, you know, there's no guarantees, but, you know, Petra's had a fantastic year and, um, you know, it's definitely a, a huge accomplishment to you to to win both championships. How do you compare this one to the '09? How do they? How do they um, it's definitely different. I mean, first of all, none of these guys were here, um, so very different for me. Different atmosphere. I think this one is maybe more satisfying. From you know, we've been in a position to to do this for a few years, and. I think I've come to learn that it's it's just very very difficult to win a championship. It doesn't matter how good you are, um, what your ranking is, what scores you shoot, going into that weekend and and being you know performing all year. It's it's difficult to do. So, I think the first time round in 2009, it almost took us all a little bit by surprise. Um, you know, we weren't the number one ranked team. We we didn't um, have a very good first day, and it was all sort of a, a bit of a surprise. And I think. I've certainly learned how hard you have to work and all the things that have to go in to really put yourself in that position. So I think this one's more satisfying. I think we have a better team than we did four years ago, um, definitely. Um, and they really, they definitely went out and, and earned this one. Did you have to suppress your excitement when you saw those scores coming in? And you know, you had still like kids that were shooting and they had to stay focused. Yeah. On that. I mean, absolutely, and that's something that you know—not just myself, but the guys that shoot on the first relays. That's part of their them, uh, you know, being a being a sort of supportive and good team member. It's absolutely you got to kind of hide your emotions and feelings and and just stay focused. You know, stay focused on the, you know, the guys that are shooting next or from the first day to the second day. And um, yeah, it's challenging, definitely. Yeah, I'm sure you've gotten a lot of reaction from text. Sure. Um, whew, um, you know, definitely a few good uh, old alumni emails that have been good. Um, uh, you know, that's a hard, I don't think there's any that really stand out. There's always a few funny comments on Facebook or Twitter. Um, but um, 
I, I think um, I think the one maybe the most sincere and uh, nicest comment that I had at NCAA is actually one of the TCU's uh, girls father came up to me and he said you know congratulations you guys deserve it and he said the best team won you guys were the the best team all year and and you fully deserved it and that's coming from a opposition's parent you know that's that's very meaningful and he's actually um a long time shooter as well and, and possibly an international shooter back in, in his day so that was de definitely very meaningful but um no I th there's just there's been so many there's nothing really that, that jumps out at me right now Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's great to be part of that. I think it is a very nationally renowned program. Um, it definitely assists me in in recruiting, and I think it's uh, special for these guys to be a part of it. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, um, you know, hopefully, it's something I think that the the whole the university and the whole state takes a lot of pride in, and. Um, you know, absolutely something that, that these guys are recognized and if you're on any rifle range, um, certainly in this country, but now maybe internationally as well, you know, people recognize the recognize West Virginia and the WV and um, yeah, it's really, you know, it's it's an honor for me to, to be a part of that. When you were preparing for this, was there a score in the back of your mind you thought you had to shoot the win? Did it hit what you guys um, I, You know, I, I sort of learned to expect the unexpected at NCAAs. I mean, I think we all, you know, thought we would probably shoot a lot higher than we did. Um, I mean, I I thought, you know, probably going in and, and shooting over 4,700 would be pretty hard for the other teams to beat. Um, but you know, we we really try our best to not think about the numbers and um, and yeah, it's, I tell these guys not to. So you know, I have to try not to too much myself. But. Uh, I, I would say the score was definitely lower than than we expected. Um, you know, I think we were, you know, maybe disappointed in our overall team score. Obviously, at the end of the day, it's 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 what was needed. So we're you know delighted with that. Um, and surprisingly, I read afterwards too, it's still the second highest winning score at, at the NCAA championship. So it goes to show how hard a match that is to shoot and how um, how the scores don't aren't always going to reflect season averages and, and things like that. So I think fortunately we were, you know, we were able to shoot such high scores and we set the bar so high this, uh, this season that, you know, we, we you know, gave ourselves some room at championships and, you know, it was, it was enough uh, this weekend. The fact that you've got so many kids that shoot internationally competition similar, does that help being in an atmosphere like this? Yeah, I think so because, um, you know, they possibly have experience of all kinds of different environments and atmospheres and certainly bigger matches such as European championships and international matches have a sort of feel like that. So I think that definitely helps. There's not very many, uh, there's not very many matches in the US that have that big feeling. Uh, and even when they do, there's very few that, or I don't think there's really any that have the, the team aspect like that, whereas certainly some of the international uh, kids come in and, and there's you know, there's more team matches maybe internationally that they, they have experience with. So I think that definitely helps. And, um, but, and it's, you know, I think we certainly had some last year that got that experience and hopefully that, that helps them going forward as well. Sort of along the lines of what you were saying earlier, you won the first title so quickly in your career. It sort of came as a surprise. Do you have a different appreciation now of what it takes to, to build and maintain a program? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I certainly after that, that that championship, um, we had Nico coming into the program and had a lot of young kids and a great team. And you know, I think maybe myself or supporters or others were like, "Oh, we're, we're just going to win some national championships. It's going to be easy." And it's uh, yeah, I've definitely learned it's it's really difficult. You know, there's no there's no guarantees. It's a it's a long year, um, and it's a really hard match to go and compete. So. Um, you know, I definitely have a greater appreciation. I think we tried this year to really be as prepared as we possibly could, could be, you know, really think of the small details, do a lot of hard work on the mental preparation um, to try and get that. But I, yeah, I, I definitely have a, you know, a prob you know, like you said, a much bigger appreciation of just, uh, you know, the scale of it and what it means and, and how hard it is to do. You got 15 of those. You got room in your trophy case for all of them? Uh, we, we we might need a bigger one. We'll see. Maybe maybe Oliver can hook that up. <laughs>